don't know what that was. Lucas. Bazzi, thank you for your call, and we're moving on. Lucas. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Hey. Wow. I'm super laggy. All right. Who is All right. these days? Let me pause the stream real quick here. I'm really, really glad I paid for this shitty laptop. Oh, vignetting going on. Oh. Are you in the 30s? Dramatic. I don't. All right. This is using the shit out of me. You look like a, a character in a noir film. Paul Baser. Oh, you know, that's uh, what I try to do. Yeah. I try to be, uh, I'm like Cole Phelps. That's me. Nice. Yeah. Do you have a and question? I wear sleeveless shirts because I'm cool. Sorry. Yeah, I do. Uh, actually, before, I didn't uh, see the podcast tonight because I was watching uh, WrestleMania. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, who won between The Rock and John Cena? Spoiler alert. I want to know. Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert, uh, I'm going to be completely honest, it was Cena, and that was obvious. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, yeah it does Cena. suck. But uh, highlight of the event was definitely Punk vs. Taker. We watched that. Me and Eric watched it here. Hey, these guys aren't going to care. Did you feel like when, when CM Punk dropped... No I, no, I think this is a legit question. When CM Punk good. did that leg <laughs> drop onto the Spanish announce table and it didn't break, he fucked his leg up, right? Uh, Legitimately. That shifted the match, didn't it? Or what? He absolutely he fucked his leg up, and that is something that happens a lot. But yeah. Well, yeah, like, no, he landed, like, on... Did you see the instant replay? And, like, from the side, he landed on his ass and, like, shattered his knee. Yeah, and from that point on, he literally, like, didn't stand up for the rest of the match. They were just rolling around. Which is uh, funny, because The Undertaker's so... I love The Undertaker, but he's, like, so old at this point. He doesn't have that many moves in his repertoire. He can basically punch you in the face, choke slam you, or like lift you up and throw you down. So Pretty CM much. Punk was really doing all the work in that match and then fucked up his leg to the point where, okay, let's just wrap this up. I feel like that's true, but also uh, I could watch CM Punk wrestle for days, so that's fine. Yeah, but, uh, to his credit, they wrestled for like 15, I feel like, or you know, at least 10, 10 to 15 more minutes after that incident. Yeah, and uh, did you see, I think it was either last year or the year before when Taker was fighting uh, Triple H, because even though he's like 50 years old or something, he like jumped clean over the top rope, and yeah. it was like, oh shit, I didn't think he had it in him. You know what, Undertaker was setting up to do that again tonight when CM Punk was outside, he was running up, about to dive out of the rope. And then, um, what's his name? Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman gets in his face, totally stops him from doing a badass move. Then Undertaker's yeah. about to choke slam him, lift him up over the rope, but he gets interrupted from doing that too. Yeah, I mean, maybe he just didn't have it in him. It doesn't surprise me that much. To give you an idea of how badly I'm lagging right now, I can't see anything, so That's you guys okay. be like doing that sort of shit. You well, we are. We're giving you the suck it. I'm giving you the people's eyebrow. All right, that's, that's, that's what I want, man. Sean uh, couldn't believe that Undertaker only wrestles one day a year. He only wrestles at WrestleMania. And his question was, what does Undertaker do for the rest of the year? And I told him, dreads WrestleMania. <laughs> Just all year he thinks, why the fuck am I still doing this? Uh, I don't think he thinks that because the rest of the year he has all the money from WrestleMania. That's true. <laughs> That's true. When January starts. Hey, if I had to work one day a year, I'd be pretty stupid. Pretty stoked. Okay, but it's one day a year, but you have to fight a muscular dude yeah. one day it's a one year. One day a year, and he has like 80,000 fans. Hey, that's going, how like, I oh, shit, I'd rather do favorite. one burst of hell. Like, get fucked up. Done. Seriously, like, fucked up for one day. Yeah, you got a year to take it easy. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. it's. But that year would go pretty schedule. fast between them. After, I bet, after, yeah. After 10 of them. You know? um, it's good to hear that that was the highlight of WrestleMania because that was the only match we caught, and uh, it was a good match. I love The Undertaker. He's been wrestling for so long. I got respect. Yep. 21-0. Uh, and, and, yeah, Russell, uh, Undertaker is awesome. I was kind of hoping Punk was going to win. Me too. I feel like – oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, that's all. I agree with you. I thought CM Punk was going to win, but he didn't. Yeah, I thought uh, Punk, I thought Punk was gonna win, and then that was gonna be uh, the end of Undertaker, pretty much. I guess because he wins, he might be back next year. That'd be cool. He's gonna, he has to come back until he loses. He can't just one year yeah. say, you know what, I'm out. It was a great run. I'm undefeated. That's not yeah. how wrestlers go out. And you know what? This is uh, the WWE writing staff we're talking about. So odds are he'll come back, and then Punk will fight him again, and then Punk will win. Yeah, he'll pull a Cena rock. 
twice in a lifetime. Eric and I were hoping CM Punk would defeat him by using the tombstone pile driver on the Undertaker and then would become the new Undertaker. But didn't happen. <laughs> Shit. That'd be awesome. He becomes the Undertaker. Yeah. Yeah. Starts and then Paul uh, Paul Heyman becomes Paul Bear. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's what they were. It looked like that's what they were setting it up for. CM Punk was like doing Undertaker top rope moves. He was wearing Undertaker colors. They had a chance and they blew it. Yeah, I still haven't figured out whether or not uh, Paul Bear is actually dead because it's WWE and they can make things up. And it's really offensive what they did if he's not dead. I think he's dead. Uh, he's dead. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> yeah. No, it's because like it, it's not out of the realm of possibility for the WWE to make stuff like that up. I mean, come on. Yeah, but I think he's dead. Yeah. Well, <laughs> rest in peace. You guys, did you see what uh, Punk was doing the weeks leading up to it? No. Okay. Well, like Paul Bear or Paul Heyman came out dressed like Paul Bear. Uh, Punk was taking the urn, throwing it around and stuff, spilled the ashes all over the Undertaker. It's like, if this guy's not dead, this is really offensive. Or if he is dead, this is really offensive. Eric told me about that and told me they cleared it with the family, which... <laughs> all right. I, I, I'm sure that means they paid them a ton of money. Yeah. But also, Paul Bearer spent a good portion of his life with the WWF, and I'm sure loved the industry so much would probably be fine like yeah hey you know what when i die use it in your stories make somebody a heel it's the best thing for i mean a wrestling story for like yeah. i'm sure honestly i'm sure paul bearer would be fine with it yeah i probably would be i would be fine it's, with it i'd be fine with it too hey when I die, the WWF has free reign. Write that into your story. <laughs> have somebody crap on my grave. Wrestle on my actual grave. Do a tombstone right. pile driver onto my tombstone and break right. it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, That's it. I was going to say, uh, my goal is I'm actually trying to become a professional wrestler. So oh, once sorry. I'm in the WWE, uh, you join the WWE as well. Then I'll kill you, and then I'll shit on your grave. It'll be a good storyline. That's cool. Hey, what's your finishing move? Uh, that's so far ahead of where I am right now. Have you thought about it? But you, don't it. bullshit me. You know you've thought about oh. it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm not going to say I haven't thought about it. Uh, you, I, I thought about it a lot, but it's like none of them are things that I do. So, Come on. What's your finishing move going to be? What are you thinking about right now? I'll tell you my finishing move. I, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a professional wrestler. I invented my finishing move. I'll tell you what it is after you tell me yours. Oh shit, uh, now I have to... Alright, see the thing is, it's so dependent on what kind of like wrestler you are. Yeah. And I haven't even thought that far ahead yet, so it's like, I'm making up a move that maybe will have nothing to do with what okay, I Okay, I don't think you're gonna be a grappler or a high flyer. Your finishing move is gonna be some sort of power slam. Uh, that's awfully presumptuous of you, probably, but it's like... It doesn't even matter what I do if it's a slam, though. Just Oh, it matters. Hey, it matters. <laughs> Let me tell you, CM Punk, he needs a new finishing move. It's not impressive. It doesn't look like you would just lay a dude out with that move. Yeah, it, it, it always, like, you know uh, that time when uh, Stone Cold hit Vince McMahon with a stunner and then he flopped over like a fish? Yeah. It's like every time CM Punk does the GTS, it, it has that effect, and every time it's a letdown. Because yep. it's like you can't, you can't fall like forward like that and then bounce backwards. So they just fall over and flop to the side, and it's like, oh, that was entertaining. I think a good finishing move, now here's my amateur opinion, it has to look like you slam the guy's head or face just straight into the ground. That's it. Then the match is over. Yeah. If your finishing move doesn't incorporate that, it's not good. Before uh, CM Punk was in the WWE, he did the Pepsi Plunge, which was like, it was like the pedigree from the top rope, basically. <laughs> so, plunge. Or from the... <laughs> Turnbuckles. So yeah, that was I'm painful. sure that was rad, cool. and Triple H just stopped him from doing that. Okay, what's your move? That's, How does it uh, go? The, all right, let me. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh fuck! You you know you tell me yours, and I won't copy it. Gotta oh wow! It. I don't care if you copy it. I'm never gonna be no, a professional wrestler. No, I mean I wrestler. won't copy it in describing mine because. Okay. I, the move I imagined when I was a kid is I would have a guy in a fireman's carry, like on my shoulders, right? 
And then I would somehow, I don't know, maybe this is a bad move. Maybe I would throw out my back doing this. But I would try to spin him around so that his feet come across right in front of me. And then I, with my hands on the back of his head, just drive his face straight down into the mat. And maybe like I fall onto my stomach too when I do it. But basically just grab your head, boom, face it's smasher. Like a super F5. Yeah, basically. It's like an F6. It, yeah, the high six. That's the name of the move. All right, I just uh, all right. So it's called I, uh, it's called the pizza topping. That's the name of the move. <laughs> okay, here's my move. I'm gonna lay it out there. All right. So what you do? It's called the uh, the chopping block or some sort of something to do with the executioner. Okay. So like an executioner, something like that. You tie their legs up or their arms up in the ropes, right? Right. Keep their head facing outside of the ring so that it's over the edge of the ring. Okay. Top wait, rope. wait, wait. Is the rope under their chin or behind their head? Like they're tied up. Their arms are tied up behind their like behind them, and their heads over. Their neck is over the edge of the ring. Okay. Okay. Or something like that. Something to replicate. Uh, to replicate. To replicate. Uh, some sort of like. Uh, what the fuck is it called? It doesn't matter. I got Basically, what you're saying. Yeah, leg drop on them, on their head, while that's happening. It's gonna hurt like hell, they'll probably die, yeah. but that's why it'll never get cleared, but that's what I do. Wait, and wait, wait! I like that move, I'm gonna improve it. Leg drop off the top turnbuckle, and it hits them so hard, their legs literally flip up, they become untied, and are launched out of the ring. And then, and then, yeah. they die, because they no longer have a skull. That's a cool so, move. Yeah, that, yeah. You cool you definitely be able to pin them if you kill them with your move. Yeah. That would probably find some like Juggalo Wrestling Leagues. Yeah, something like that. Did you know Juggalo Wrestling Leagues exist? I used to watch uh, WWF when uh, the Insane Clown Posse just wrestled in it. Shit, I was probably like negative three. Wow. No way. How? Old? No way. That was like 1998. Oh, so I was four. There you go. You missed it. Yeah. Oh my god. I fucked up. Nah, you didn't. They sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't. Su well, they sucked then and they suck now. So there you go. full circle. Some things never change. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I, I I can't wait to see you on the circuit. All right. Yeah, that's the goal, man. It was nice talking to you guys. Yeah. Thank you for your call. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Later. See you. Um. Some of that was a little over my head. A little bit. A little bit. I'm sure it was. But nothing wrong with too that. Too bad Eric wasn't here. Yeah, too bad.